I'll be right back. So I thought it was time to redo an age old tutorial and that is how do you make a Tiny Planet photo or a Tiny Planet video. I've done this video a few times before but I haven't done a complete tutorial showing you everything from beginning to end. It's more been little bits here and there. So I want to try and make something as comprehensive as possible that is everything you need to know about Tiny Planets at least to begin with. It's 42 degrees Celsius in Dubai today so you've been warned there will be copious amounts of sweat in this video. By the way it doesn't matter which 360 camera you own as long as you have a point and shoot 360 camera like this one. The easiest way to take a tiny planet photo is simply pressing the button on the camera. Every single 360 camera has one. You press the button and it takes a photo instantly. So let's do it. Three, two, one, smile. This is a good quick way to do it. However, if you look down at my hand, it's massive. It looks like I was stung by a bee. So you don't always want that in your tiny planet photos, which is why your best friend and best investment you could possibly make to shoot tiny planets is a selfie stick yeah i know it's a bit sad owning a selfie stick but a selfie stick is a 360 camera's best friend so let's try that again exact same shot but this time i'm going to be using my manfrotto selfie stick and i'm going to turn on the self timer on the camera which means i don't have to physically have my finger on the button it's going to give me two seconds to strike a pose then it will take the photo first one i'm going to try out really high and second one i'm going to try out across the river how epic did those look? And you know what? You don't even have to hold the camera that far away from you. You can hold it this far and still it'll make your hand disappear, like so. Once you're comfortable with that, you wanna start taking shots where you're not actually physically holding the camera. So you wanna find yourself a small tripod just to make sure your camera doesn't tip over because these things are not cheap to replace. And don't worry, we can erase this from our photos later, but this is going to allow us to place this basically anywhere we want. So I have an idea for a really cool shot here. This area is surrounded by massive buildings and I'm going to place the camera on the ground, capture it as a 360 and then invert it into an inverted planet where the buildings all point towards the middle it's going to look so good. You're just going to have to trust me. Okay, the coast is clear. One more for good luck. Now let's download our photo and see how that one turned out. Nice. It just looks so nice. I love how clean the circle is around it and there's so much juicy detail in the middle. If only I could find an area with even more buildings, you know, I think I can make this photo look even more epic. Okay, if you thought the buildings from before were epic, check this out. Oh my god, look at these, they're monstrous. If this doesn't make for a good tiny planet, then I give up. All right, time to see what I got. Yes, I got the money shot, I got the money shot, woo! <sighs> so once you have the tiny planet and inverted planet down pat, that's when you can start getting creative, trying things differently, trying new positions, putting the camera in different places. There are a million different ways you can shoot and edit a 360 photo into a tiny planet. If you want more ideas about what kinds of cool and interesting shots you can get, check out my Instagram. I've got 10 million different shots based around tiny planets and inverted planets. Woo, I am feeling the heat. I swear I have gone three shades redder since the beginning of this video. So before I become a tomato, let's talk tiny planet video. And when you shoot a tiny planet video, it's not that different to shooting tiny planet foes. Basically everything's the same in terms of composition. It's just video moves, photos don't. One thing I will say is that if you are going to use a selfie stick like so, you will want a 360 camera that has inbuilt stabilization. It's just not good enough anymore to have shaky footage. 360 video is disorienting enough already, so please don't settle for shaky 360 video. Most cameras have stabilization by now, so make sure you choose one with stabilization if you plan on shooting a lot of 360 video. Now it's time to shoot me some 360 video. So what happens next? Probably the most boring part of the workflow and it's called stitching, which essentially means downloading the footage from your 360 camera to your phone wirelessly. It turns these two circle things into this stretch thing. There's no need to overcomplicate things. You don't need to go to your computer. It's best if you can do everything on your phone because it means you'll be able to work like 10 million times faster. You're just gonna have to trust me. Now is when the magic happens and the next step of the workflow is... Uh, is that in shot? Can, can my DSLR see that? 
Uh, no. Damn it. Ah, if only there was a camera that could see everything, that would be awesome. The next step of the workflow is where the magic happens. And this step is called reframing, where we're choosing a new angle to position our 360 footage. So if we want, say, just the tower over here, we can reframe so it's just the tower. Or if you want to reframe as just me, you could reframe as just me. In this case, we're going to reframe so we see everything, the full 360 degree landscape, which is what we call a tiny planet. To do this, you'll need a tiny planet manipulation app. My personal favorite is Theta Plus, and it accepts photos from any 360 camera, so you don't necessarily need the Ricoh Theta camera. So we're going to choose our photo and then select edit a still image. Next all you do is tap little planet and voila we have a planet that has been pre-made for us. Your two weapons of choice now will be your left thumb and your right thumb where you can zoom in, zoom out and change the field of view however you like. I think this one definitely works as a tiny planet with that massive tower behind my head. When you're happy just click save. Once you've saved to your camera roll congratulations you've got yourself a tiny planet. The process for tiny planet videos is exactly the same. I do have a whole bunch of tutorials on my channel to go more in depth about 360 video and how to reframe that in a really stylish way. Also, you may choose to animate your 360 photo into a video. Hey, I've got a tutorial about that too. So now that I've got all of those cool shots, there's only one thing left to do. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? So that's my video. Hope you liked it. If you want to learn more about Tiny Planets, I wrote an ebook that teaches every single trick I've learned over the years, and you can learn it in like three hours. So check it out, link in the description. For more tips and tricks about 360 photography and 360 video, hit that subscribe button for more awesome videos coming your way. I've got an epic adventure about to start. Just wait until you see what's to come. This ain't nothing. And with that, I bid you adieu.